So, bye bye Herefordshire, hello to our new destination. We're off now in Brenda to our new destination, which is 11 miles up the road, and I think it's about a 28 minute drive. So, I'll see you in about half an hour to show you where we are. Here we are, one minute away from the campsite. So we've left Herefordshire. We have been through a town that said it was the gateway to Wales. And now I feel that we are back in Shropshire. I'm back in the Shropshire Hills at that because it's very, very hilly and very steep. So here we go. Oh, it's very exciting check back here to see what the campsite's like. The campsite looks lovely, but I don't know how to say the name of it. So I'll just show you in a bit. Hello sheep. Here we are, camping. Oh, oh my God, it's busy. Oh my God, there's three. Oh my God, there's hundreds. There's absolutely, oh, oh my God, there goes my jean. What was that? Oh my God. I think we're on a railway track. Wow, this is interesting. Welcome to Unpronounceable Farm. So here we all are, all set up at, I'm gonna try and say Papuanton, 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 Pap something farm. It's dead nice, you know. So we're in the Shropshire Hills, we're on Offers Dyke Path. And I think tomorrow we're going to try and walk a bit of Offers Dyke Path. And we've got a train that runs through here. Lovely campsite. So see that building there. I think it's that building there. Um, I'm making loads of new, like, nice, a nice shower block. It's not ready yet, but hey ho. Um, some really nice toilets in there. And there's a room with a kettle and a microwave and if you go down that track there, there is um, a toilet and a shower and there's washing up facilities and stuff like that. But, as you know, me and Mr Brenda were pretty self-sufficient to be fair. So, But I must admit, on occasions, we do use the loo. But we obviously have our very own toilet tent. So we don't really have to use the facilities, which is fantastic. So here we are. So, right now, I'm going to go for a little walk into the village of Knighton because after yesterday we need to be really really chilled with my knees because if I'm going to do a bit of office diet tomorrow I need to look after myself today so post birthday boxing day easy day and here I am, one body in two countries. This side I am in England and this side I am in Wales. So my nose is in no man's land. <laughs> I didn't realise I'm actually on Offers Dyke Path, walking to the village. How exciting! So even though we're doing our proper walk tomorrow, I'm getting a taste of Offa and his dyke a little bit early and check out that, isn't it lovely? Oh, we did a bit of Offa's dyke many many years ago and uh, Mr Brenda fell over and sprained his ankle quite badly and being six foot seven it's quite difficult to help so we had to just wait it out for a while and although many walkers walked past us everyone said oh dear sorry mate can't help anyway it's okay he lived to tell the tale and here we are trying off his dyke again hopefully this time with no injuries so this is an actual section of offer's dyke okay so offer was a very very old king a very very long time ago and he built his dyke to separate 
the Welsh and the English. So there he is, look, King of Mercia, 757 to 796 AD, okay? And this little plaque was made in 1971. This little plaque actually looks like it was made in uh, about 796 AD, doesn't it? It's very, very old. But there you go. A section of ye actual old offers dyke. Very nice. Nothing to do with Dutch dykes, by the way. A very different thing, I think. Walking down into Norwegian. So here we are in Pranton Farm or something like that, cooking on the Kadak Safari Chef 30, I think it's called, salmon in wild garlic butter. That's a lot of salmon for two, but you know, we need our protein. So there you go. And what do you think about that amazing old leather case? Someone gave us that gas bottle. Leatherette, actually. Oh, it's leatherette. Genuine leatherette. Genuine <laughs> leatherette. Like leatherette case. Here we are, Papuantan. Jubilee weekend. Very, very busy. So, to go with our salmon with butter, garlic butter, we've got potatoes and... What's that stuff in the potatoes? Wild garlic. Wild garlic. And... Uh, Asparagus and what's that other green stuff in the asparagus? Um, it's kind of like a garlic that grows wild. Oh, more wild garlic. How about that? All to be washed down with a nice glass of Tesco finest Stellenbosch South African Sauvignon Blanc from the vintage 2021. I bet that was on the deal, wasn't it? Six bottles for 25% off. And if any wine companies would like to sponsor this channel, please apply directly. <laughs> Just showing you around the facilities here at Papuantum. There's a fridge, a microwave, a kettle. I've just done me washing up in one of the washing up stations. And get this, the toilets Oh, amazing. It's a shame that the showers are out of order, but they'll be sorted soon. So, the toilets are amazing. The toilets are lovely. Look at that. But, oh my God, open this one. <gasps> Jeez, I think I'm in the men's. That's lovely. Beacon from Panty Porn. Porn Panty. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. So this morning, we have warm bread with a mushroom omelette cooked on our Kadek. Powered by the gas bottle with the real leatherette case. Awesome. Wow, I'm hungry. Oh, we're going to have some real posh coffee as well. Here we go. We've got mushroom omelette and toast and posh coffee for breakfast. All made on our little cadet with the genuine fake leather.